we want to factor and solve the given polynomial equation. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. Notice the three terms on the left share a common factor of z. So for the first step, we'll factor out z from the left side of the equation. So we'd have z times the quantity 20z squared minus 11z minus three equals zero. Notice how we factored out one factor of z from each term, and if we distribute, we still have 20z cubed minus 11z squared minus three z. Now we want to see if we can factor the trinomial inside the parentheses, and this is one of the more challenging types of trinomials to factor, because the leading coefficient here is 20, and there are no common factors among the three terms. So we need to factor the inner trinomial by using either trial and error, grouping, or bottoms up. Let's use trial and error. So we still have this factor of z here, and now we're going to factor the inner trinomial into two binomial factors. Now using trial and error, we know that the terms in the first positions, or this term and this term, must come from the factors of 20z squared, and the terms in the second positions must come from the factors of negative three. And then, the sum of the inner product and outer product must give us negative 11z. So to begin, let's consider the factors of 20z squared, where we could use 4z and 5z, 2z and 10z, or 20z and 1z. Let's go ahead and use the two factors that are closest together, meaning 5z and 4z. So we'll have a factor of 5z here, and a factor of 4z here. Notice this product would give us 20z squared. And then luckily there aren't a lot of factors of negative three. We could use negative one and positive three, or negative three and positive one. So using trial and error, we're just going to try two of these, place them in the binomials, and see if the inner product and outer product does give us a sum of negative 11. So for example, let's try the minus three here and the plus one here. We'll notice how the inner product is negative 12z and the outer product is 5z. Well, the sum is negative 7z which is not negative 11z, which means we'll try something else. Let's go ahead and clear this. Let's try switching the factors and putting the minus three here and the plus one here. Notice how now the outer product is negative 15z and the inner product is positive 4z. And notice how when we add these, we do get the middle term of negative 11z, which means this is now factored correctly. And now that we have this factored, we can solve. Notice in this case, we actually have three factors. We have a factor of z, we have a factor of 5z plus one, and we have a factor of 4z minus three, which means any of these factors can equal zero, and this product would be zero. So we're going to have three solutions. Either the first factor, z equals zero, or the second factor of 5z plus one equals zero, or the third factor of 4z minus three equals zero. And now we'll solve each of these for z. Notice how this one's already solved for z, so that's one solution. To solve 5z plus one equals zero, we would subtract one on both sides and then divide by five. We divide by five. Notice how z is equal to negative one-fifth, which is our second solution. And then finally for four z minus three equals zero, we'd start by adding three to both sides. So we have four z equals positive three, divide both sides by four. Our third solution is z equals three-fourths. I hope you found this helpful.